Hello, and welcome to episode 20 of Regrow. Last time we made the Extreme Infusion Stone, and we made the Creeper Seeds and Ghastly Seeds. Or Ghast Seeds, I think. And we uh, went to the Nether and discovered that our Alamite pick wasn't going to be good enough for what we needed. Uh, we were going to need at least Steel and Thalmium to get uh, the... the <laughs> to get the ores that we wanted so that we can make the seeds um, and to f basically get everything we're going to need like cobalt level and uh, I asked if anybody knew how to do that within without doing Tinker's Construct and the answer is it's tough <laughs> it's tough you can do a void pickaxe that will give you manilium uh, and that's about it, I think, that will give you that level. You can get some Thaumium ones with some Blood Infused uh, pickaxes. As you can see, all these cannot be used. <clears throat> I'm not sure what the Corrupted pickaxe will do. Uh, a Cobladite pickaxe from Witchery will get you to Thaumium. Of course, you can get a Thaumium pickaxe, which will give you Thaumium from Thaumcraft. But yeah, that's that's about it. If I look at the, uh, the Terra Shatterer is steel. Even as you go up in rank, it's still only steel. Um, even at the, the top rank, which is kind of sad. Uh, but uh, then the Pickhead is steel too. But so it's uh it's not going to be easy to do it without Tinker's Construct, but I think I have an idea of how to do it. And I did one test uh, that failed. And uh, I'll tell you what that was. is uh, I used the Lunium. I did a test with the Lunium <clears throat> from Batania. And what this flower does is uh, it uses mana from your mana pool and basically generates loot that you would get from dungeon chests and stuff like that and you can find uh, magical essences in those and uh, I was hoping that I could get uh, cobalt and ardite essences from the lunium but after running it for a while with a bunch of them on unlimited mana I couldn't get any basically like there was basically I think eight or nine essences that you can get from that and the only one that I don't have access to that I could get from that is Certus. so uh, it's not too useful so I figure we'll chug forward with a couple of quests and uh, I, I want to start working in, on some more witchery and might as well get get going on that we'll make our attune stone uh, dosing an elven dragon stone and lava while exposing it to a whiff of magic we'll attune it with magics that form the fabric of the world, making an incredibly useful core for a number of devices, allowing them to channel this magical energy for operation. So uh, it's basically it's a. Uh, well, I should probably look up the recipe just to be sure. Yeah, it's a whiff of magic, which I don't have in my inventory. Magic. Dragonstone and lava gives you an attune stone. And I'll get two more as a reward. <clears throat> and I'm going to need these attune stones to make a distillery, a kettle, and a, uh, a spinning wheel. We might do that this time. We'll see. But first, we're going to make our altar, witchery altar. And to make it, it, you need Exhale of the Horn One and Ex Breath of the Goddess, and these you get from uh, Birch Saplings and Oak Saplings will give you the uh, Exhale of the Horn One, and Birch sap Saplings will give you the uh, God Tears of the Goddess, and so, or Breath of the Goddess, or Tears of the Goddess, Breath of the Goddess. And oh uh, yeah, we can't stack it because there's uh, water bottles involved, so we'll do, oh. Need uh, two more rowan wood. Just have to grab two more rowan wood. Mm. 
and another water bottle, and there we go. You need six altars in all told to make the uh, witchery altar. And that's going to give me some Spanish moss, some melons, and some pumpkins. So we'll keep those in our inventory for now. Augmented attunement. While the altar can channel some natural magics by itself, it's much more capable if augmented by various natural apparatus, which act as foci, which are more attuned to these magics. Chalices will boost the power that the altar can hold, while lights such as the candle rod boost the rate at which the altar will charge up. Other foci include pentacles, skulls, and arthana. So I could put the arthana on there as well. I think you can only put so many items on the altar at one time. Uh, but uh, let's see the candelabra and the chalice. Let's see what we need to make those. <clears throat> uh, so I'll have to use in a tombstone. That's not too bad. I'll grab uh, three iron. Gets me the candle bra and the chalice. It's just some gold within a tombstone, so we'll do that too. Two, two. It sounds like a pigment. Is that right? Oh, I need four, four nuggets. And a tombstone. So I'm going to have to make some more tombstones. It's not a big deal. To fill the chalice, which makes this uh, better. So if you have a filled chalice, it works better. You need to make this redstone soup, which is actually quite... Uh, this is all easy, right? I, I have access to all of these. Well, with bad, I have to kill some bats. I think I might have one or two of those. The drop of luck is tough to come by. Although, this is new. This is a new recipe for the drop of luck. I've seen it other ways. Uh, but it requires refined evil, the Tannis Extremis, <clears throat> and the Tear of the Goddess. And this is harder to get. You have to use your distillery to get it. It's not terribly complicated, but uh, it's a little bit harder to get. But it does make the chalice more effective on your altar. So let's go and sleep. So that we can have some daytime. And we'll go up to what's going to be our witchery area. Still need to get a, a better way uh, in and out of this place. Got some skeletons in there. I wonder why. Or not skeletons, it's a doggy. Huh. Anyway, so uh, you guys have seen this before. Um, but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, what I did is I built a platform out here and so I'm gonna have it on basically at this level this platform and I'll put another platform on the other side and then I'm probably gonna put a platform out here at the same level and out there at the same level and then on these sides I might put a platform up above them so above above this level and then I may come back in. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put witchery over here. So this can be my blue. And then over there, uh, I'll probably put uh, Thaumcraft or Blood Magic. And then I'll put the other one, Thaumcraft or Blood Magic, over here. And I think over here, when I build a platform out here, which will be overlooking the uh, the water and over top of my uh, downstairs entrance, I'll put a... Uh, I think I'll put like a, my automating, automated, ugh, automated farm once I get to that point. Um, but so th this isn't, you know, this isn't done. But this took a long time to build just the the plain platform. So it's gonna, it's gonna, you know, be a work in progress. So basically, I, I need to leave. I'm gonna. I didn't bring any marble with me, but ultimately, I'm gonna need to leave. Uh, uh, one, two, three. So I need to leave a little bit of space, and, and then I'll fill the rest of this in with dirt and grass, basically. We'll, we'll make grass at some point. And so let me just uh, start putting down some dirt here. And 
and I'll show you what the altar looks like. And then with like no real um, plant life around, I'll see. We'll see how little power it has, and then we'll see the effect that it'll have when we put uh, put some plants around it. So basically this entire uh, platform will be dirt. I'll probably have a, a path on the outside. I may, may put little paths and stuff through it. We'll sort of see. And then we'll put a bunch of our witchery stuff in here. And we may have to move stuff around as I uh, figure out exactly what I'm going to need. Because um, I may need to make a witchery, uh, I'll probably need to make a ritual circle at some point. All right. We'll We'll leave it with this for now, uh, and uh, so we'll put down the witchery altar, and we'll put it right, uh, we'll put it right here for now. <clears throat> and when it's uh, complete, it will uh, basically have this like red uh, cloth over top of it. And right now, as you can see, my altar has 358 power, and it only uh, is a, has a recharge rate of times one. So it has a poor recharge rate. Uh, Questbook told us that if we put a candelabra on there, it'll improve the recharge rate, which it does. Um, you can also go even cheaper than that, and you can put a torch, a torch on there, which will give you a times two. Now the thing is, is that if you put extra torches, it gives you nothing. If I put the torch and the candle, bra, I think it gives me nothing. Yes. For some reason, it kept the torches. Whatever's on there first, I guess. So we'll want the candle, bra, because it's going to give us a, a better recharge rate. And if we put the chalice down, it's going to double the output of the altar. So that's pretty handy. And then if I finish the quest, the uh, skeleton skull. Right now we're at 716 with uh, times three. Oops. If I put down the skeleton skull, that'll give us a bit more power and upgrade us to uh, times four. Now what I don't know is it will allow me to add an Arthana I don't really want to give up my good Arthana here, but I will for right now, just as sort of a test. Um, I don't know if it'll do anything. Yeah, so the, adding the Arthana right now doesn't basically add anything to the altar. Um, we can let's uh, take the skull off. <clears throat> I'm back down to 716. Let's see if I put the Arthana on there. We get nothing. So. Oops, I did not mean to break you, Alter. Let's put it back. Interesting. Depending on how you place things, will make a difference. So if I put the chalice down first, let's let's see. 668. That's so weird. 668? I thought it was higher than that. Three thirty-four. Did something change? Strange. Put my chalice down. Put the chalice down for now, and I'll put the uh, skeleton skull. So we're at a thousand two. I feel like we lost something. But uh, so at a thousand and two for having nothing, which is you know not too bad. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw down a pasture seed here and just turn this into grass. I don't think the grass will have. Oh, it does have a bit of an effect. Okay. So basically, as you add vegetation around the altar and near the altar, it will improve 
will basically improve its uh, power. <clears throat> so, and it only will basically accept, uh, I think, 10 items of a type, basically. So it's at 1098 right now. Um, I guess maybe this grass will keep going 11. We'll see how much the grass will will give it some uh, some boost. It'll it'll eventually stop. The grass will not uh, not boost it anymore. Um, but we could put down some uh, pumpkins, right? Uh, or melons. If I put down a melon, right, it's going to boost it. I wonder if this counts. If I put it on top. 1224, 1236, uh, I don't know if that one counted. Um, and same thing with the uh, pumpkins, right? If I were to put some pumpkins down, I'll get the same, uh, same effect. It will improve the power of the altar. Um, and then the same thing, if any, any sort of uh, tree, like if I throw down a... Uh, you know, an oak here, grow an oak tree. That'll increase the power. And what I don't know is if you can do oak and like say, can I do birch as well? Yeah, get, get some, uh, some boost from the birch as well. And then put down a spruce. And continue to like basically build on the power of the uh, altar and then you can put down uh, vines so like this is Spanish moss but uh, I can place this on the tree here and that'll boost did it 2424 should I don't feel like it did but I think even if you uh, make some tall grass there that'll Tall grass. Mm. It's interesting. Things seem to change over time. But uh, yeah, so grass will uh, will give you a boost. Trees, flowers. Uh, I wonder if I can grow some of these other trees and see if that'll give me anything. Too close. Mm, it's still maybe too close. Let's try a fir sapling. There we go. Ooh, wow, that's huge. So yeah, wood, leaves, grass, flowers, plants, crops. Um, the problem with this pack is you can't you can't place a lot of crops down um, because you have to place things on crop sticks. Uh, I think cactus would work as well if I put some cactus around here. So eventually, you just want to work. <clears throat> you want to get your altar up to a decent power. For right now, we're just going to leave it at uh, you know three thousand. And uh, as this grass expands, uh, we might get a little bit more. And uh, you know, thirty-five, fifty-eight. We'll we'll take it for now with the times for uh, recharge. You know, for for a start, that's that's not too bad. It'll we'll be able to do almost everything that we want to do with uh, witchery there. But uh, now we've unlocked a bunch of other quests, which is good. And we're gonna need all these machines to do various witchery things. Bane of Tibbs. Huh, interesting. Nether Star. And let me know what you think of uh, of my plan for the uh, the base. Uh, I kind of think it looks a little neat. Uh, but yeah, so eventually I'll have probably like a, a pathway along the outside. This this wall will be three thick again. And uh, this this whole area will be just basically filled with uh, you know grass and flowers and vegetation and 
I, wonder if, I don't know if Batania flowers add to this, but uh, eventually I'm going to want this altar up to about like 10,000 or so. So, uh, but we, we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. Um, and I'll, I'll fix that up a little bit. So I thought I'd do a few more quests probably in uh, Witchery before we wrap up. Go back downstairs. I'll leave him close my door. Uh, we have one tombstone left. We'll probably have to make some more. Uh, if we want to make any of these, we're going to need a tombstone each. Um, but we might want to start looking. Uh, this is for some different mutation stuff. Um, so we need to make mutandus extremis. Some plants are still unable to be mutated using simple mutandus, but you found a way to create a more potent version of stuff and bind it with some other magics. Uh, making mutandus extremis requires about 50 power from a nearby altar. So if we look at... Uh, we need to use a witch's cauldron, which we made, but we never placed anywhere. So we'd actually have to go set up our cauldron and throw in some nether wart and some mutandus. That'll give us mutandus extremis. And uh, so, so we've got our witch's cauldron. Do we have any mutandus in here? I'll leave it over here. I did. And then nether wart. Let's grab a bucket of water for now. I mean, more than one bucket for this. Uh, let's go back up. I wonder if the dead grass adds to it. I don't know. I'm just going to build a little uh, dirt pillar here to get up. There we go. And uh, we just need to be nearby the altar. So let's put it right. It doesn't have to be right by the altar, so. Let's do this. Oh, yeah, I need a heat source. Forgot about that. I need some netherrack. Uh, you gotta heat up the cauldron. Sort of like the uh, thumb craft. Uh, I guess uh, another rack. One thing you have to worry about with this is uh, <laughs> lighting everything on fire. That's the wrong uh, tool. Want the flint and steel? Light that on fire. And uh, put the cauldron over it. You need uh, more than one bucket of water for this. Um, so I'm going to need... source. 
Oh, how many buckets? Just three. Three buckets, okay. <clears throat> so if we look at the recipe, it's a nether wart and a mutandus, and I think you have to put it in the right order. Um, so we'll drop in some nether wart, and we'll drop in some mutandus. It's working. There we go. Why do I feel like I'm stuck? <sighs> Paralyzed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, doing some uh, can uh, give you effects and stuff. So, there we go. We got some Mutandus Extremis. We need to make the mutating sprig. Which requires an ent twig. Uh, I just need to go get an ent twig and some nether wart. I can do that. I can do that. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that you have to put them in the right order or it will fail. Uh, but what we'll do here is put in the nether wart. All right, so we'll put them in order. Uh, nether wart first, and twig, and it's extremis. Something's happening. I might not have enough altar power. Oh, it worked. Okay. So we got the mutating sprig. Woohoo! Does it say what the mutating sprig does? It can be used to mutate some things in specific configurations. To make it, you need about three. Ooh, I was close. <laughs> I was really close to not having enough for that. <laughs> the cauldron isn't augmented by... If the cauldron isn't augmented by chalk circles. Oh, I didn't know you could augment them with chalk circles. That's interesting. I also get some Mutandus Extremis. I don't... I think you just get the same stuff if you just... If you just use it on, like, you know, regular, regular grass and stuff. So I'm not going to waste it on that. But... There we go. We got the mutating sprig, which is going to unlock um, some of these other quests that we'll do at some other point. I think I don't know if I, I don't think I need to go through those ones yet. Um, I'm probably going to have to make the uh, distillery, the, oops, the distillery, the kettle, and the, the the, the spin, spinning wheel. Uh, but I'll probably end up doing that uh, next episode. So yeah, we got uh, we got started with uh, witchery, our witchery area. We'll, we've got to expand it a bit more, and uh, we'll see what it looks like in the end. Hopefully, it'll have a lot of a lot of vegetation, and uh, we'll get this altar power up. We want to get it to like ten thousand would be nice. Uh, Fifteen thousand would be would be better, but uh, hopefully, we can get it up to about ten thousand. But yeah, I hope you're enjoying uh, the series so far. Uh, episode 20 so I feel like I haven't you know even scratched the surface of the mod pack yet so this could be a long one I guess we've you know, completed a couple of quests sort of uh, hidden I don't know what the hidden quest is in this chapter I'm not sure what it is since we've made all the seeds that you know, are available to us so I'm not sure there must be a hidden quest in there and I know what hidden quest is in here I just I have to go searching for for it but uh, yeah like I said I hope you're enjoying the series so far if you have don't forget the like button as it helps me out a ton and uh, next time we'll probably do a little bit more witchery uh, 
hopefully I'll have expanded the area and sort of finished the, uh, this little platform off and uh, we'll see what it looks like. But uh, yeah, until next time, Delgaro.